it's your girl the empress chanel coming at you with another video all right so today i'm going to do oh let me fix this <laughs> today i'm going to do the air signs um i'm gonna do your weekly reading and let's see what y'all got going on this week um uh, make sure y'all check in my description box for all my information down below how you can um book me and you know go to my website and all that other good stuff um I'm going to start with the Akashic Tarot. I'm going to get a little overall, I guess, of the energy of what's going on here. And we'll go from there. Let me get some tea. And I want to say gratitude to everybody who comes, watches my videos, and watches them all the way to the end. Because usually, whew, the climax at the end of these videos be like bringing everything together. It'd be so on point. All right. So we have intricacies and industry, the seven of scrolls. Okay, we have the queen of scrolls here. We have the two of forces, the willow. Make it so these could fit up here. And we have, oh, okay, we have the Master Artisan. We have five. I thought we were only going to have four. Alrighty. <laughs> so we have the Master Artisan, the Eight of Keys. And we have the King of Keys. All right. So it looks to me here like a lot of you guys are... Um, there's a lot of thinking cards. These are a lot of cards about intricacies, about details, attention to detail, paying attention to detail, um, running something, okay? Um, we have the Hilarion right here at the bottom of the deck. That is Major Arcana number five, okay? And that talks about um, speaking with your guides, speaking with your spirit guides, and uh, going within and... Um, just getting knowledge from all facets okay he's got a book in his hand and you see he's got spirit ancestors guides um also helping him as well so i'll keep that right there let's get into it all right what do we have for the air signs libra aquarius gemini what do we have for the air signs libra aquarius gemini okay gemini y'all popping right on out we got the lovers out here first We have temperance. So Gemini, I feel like a lot of you are um, already, I'm starting to get like uh, downloads about uh, who will be watching this. So please remember, you're going to be sharing this. I might get two or three different stories, but like I said, they all end up being um, tied in at the end. Um I'm going to keep going because I'm not going to say what I feel yet. I feel like you, this is about you and another person or about you and a love um, coming together or bringing things into balance here. Oh, we have the sun. We have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. Okay. So the sun is um, Leo Virgo energy. Um, with Sagittarius is uh, temperance energy and the lovers is Gemini. Okay, we've got justice here, Libra. So we got Gemini and Libra out here already. Okay, air signs coming through. So like I said, I feel like you guys are trying to bring things into balance. You're trying to bring something like not to a close, but uh, all the way together here. It seems like you're trying to just bring something together. We have a king and a queen out here. The queen of scrolls, uh, she is about records keeping and she is about... Um, you know, intellect, uh, that that type of thing. Uh, the king of keys, oh, he got the key to every damn thing. All right. The key to the heart, the key to the city, the key to everything. All right. And we have this card right here, intricacies and industry. Um, we normally want to look at what he is pointing to or the direction that he's pointing to, which is the queen of scrolls. But he's building um, a temple from the ground up, okay? And the temple that he's building, he's very, very focused on little detail. Um, 
every little detail that happens that comes to it. So I'm feeling like maybe you guys are building an empire with someone here because we do have temperance and we do have justice, which indicates bringing something into balance. So that's more than one thing. Um, and we do have a king and queen out here. So definitely hurt in the past. Um, but like I said, bringing things together, also uh, more or less letting the divine um, do its work. We have the Ace of Pentacles here in the near future. So that is a fresh new start, okay? And that's after heartbreak here because in the recent past, we have the Three of Swords, which is Libra energy, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is uh, Earth energy. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. We have the Tower right here, ruled by Mars. Also ruled by Mars is Aries, I believe. All right, the hanged man. All right, so the hanged man is ruled by Neptune, as we can tell on the top of the card. Uh, other planets that are ruled by Neptune would be Pisces. So hanged man is uh, Pisces energy. All right. Okay, we got the Empress here. That's Taurus Libra. Okay, both ruled by Venus. That's too many. Let me just get one more for the end. And we have the Four of Wands, which is Aries energy again. So you or your person, whoever you're thinking about, may have a uh, fire in their chart because we do have a few fire signs out here. We've got Sagittarius. We've got Aries a couple times. We've got Leo. Um, so, yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. All right. Queen of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, so let's see what we got going on here. Outcome, I'm feeling like marriage. I'm feeling like this is definitely about marriage. I'm feeling like one of you in this marriage, maybe the feminine energy in this marriage, um, is is building something from the ground up um has a lot of intricacies and things that that they are looking at that they are looking into that they are just i, I don't want to say distracted but just has a lot of things going on here trying to build something from the ground up maybe this feminine energy here if you are um feminine uh air sign um maybe you are um, starting your own business from the ground up you're paying more attention to detail here um and just, I feel like letting things flow here with the willow. It's like the willow is is there. You've got the bird at the top giving you messages. You've got the river flowing right next to it. The beautiful bright sun right behind it. You can kind of see the reflection, but you can't really see it. It's, it's right just beyond that willow tree, okay? Um, and that's that two right in the middle, the two of forces. So that's that partnership, that balance. Um, and look at this, the master artisan, okay? I'm feeling like the uh, masculine in this uh, partnership here is more or less like the, not the paperwork, but putting the foot to the pavement type, okay? So we have the masculine being the foot to the pavement type over here, and then we have the feminine over here being the um, paperwork, the intricacies, the, 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 the background of it all, if you will. Um, <coughs> now, if this is, um, about a marriage here for you air signs or about a coming together because I'm feeling like for a lot of you this is about a marriage we have four of wands here as the outcome so that's definitely about some sort of uh, foundation that is being built some sort of stability um, we definitely have a uh, that out here and then in your near future we have the ace of pentacles so this could lead to marriage for some of you but for others of you uh, this could be just some sort of business partnership that you all are trying to um, bring together um, put together the last little um, last little details on um so partnerships that's what we're talking about today we're talking about partnerships whether that be love partnerships business partnerships whatever type of partnerships you air signs are into here i feel like um a lot of you guys are trying to bring that together the lovers clearly most of you guys are here because this is a love partnership being clarified by the seven of swords okay so uh like i said attention to detail uh, sevens in tarot numerology talk about assessment, um, having a level of control over something, going back and reflecting on things. So I feel like um, both lovers here, since that's clarifying the lovers, um, both lovers here are um, 
taking the time out to assess um, everything that's going on, more or less this feminine energy here, taking the time out to assess what has been going on here um, in this situation, um, to plan, make details. Like I said, if this is a wedding, this would be the one who is making the final decisions, making the details, doing the paperwork, making sure every you know everything is a go, so to speak. Um, temperance here being clarified by the Three of Cups. It's definitely about some sort of wedding, all right? Um, I feel like with the Seven of Swords here clarifying the lovers, this may mean some sort of not uh, sneakiness because Seven of Swords is about like um, taking or hiding or sneaking. But I feel more or less like this could be like um, lovers wanting to, because it's clarifying the lovers, lovers wanting to do something that is more or less... Uh, in the background that's less intricate that you know is more paperwork you know still going to be a celebration here because we have temperance being clarified by the three of cups so still a celebration here but i feel like a lot of you guys are kind of low-key type of people like if you do do a wedding it's going to be like really small um and inch and intimate or uh you know not even one at all courthouse and straight to the honeymoon for some of y'all <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? We have the sun, okay? So the sun is being clarified by the four of cups. All right, so fours, like I said, in tarot numerology, now we have two of them out here. That's about um, manifestations, that's about foundations, that's about stability, okay? And I feel like you guys um, want your happiness. I feel like you ignored what made you happy, um, happiest in the past and now you're not ignoring those feelings anymore i feel like a lot of you guys are just going to go for the gold if you are a whether you are a feminine or masculine um air sign here i feel like you guys are going to go for what makes you happy you're no gonna, longer going to um, ignore those feelings you understand that whatever this is this partnership you manifested it into your life and you are completely and 100 percent happy now this partnership could come together marriage or whatever could come together during um leo season which is uh late july early august um but i'm seeing here that definitely definitely some foundations were built here it intricacies and industry okay you see how he's building this foundation and paying very close attention to detail i feel like both of you studied each other you studied one another uh you made sure that this was something that you absolutely positively wanted before you went into this uh partnership here and before you decided to go into this partnership here and make this commitment um, go further um you wanted to make sure that this was going to be something that was going to make you happy and this is the conscious energy so i know that you know that this is something that you can't ignore anymore you can no longer ignore or how happy this partnership makes you and you're gonna just go ahead and do it <laughs> all right this is so beautiful this is happy all right so uh libra energy the underlying energy like i said um i feel like uh, divine has their hands all up and through this this is definitely a partnership that was supposed to happen here with temperance um being your crossing energy with the three of cups it's like they're happy for you they bought this together um justice being clarified by the queen of cups all right, just ultimate love, feminine love, divine feminine love, okay? Nurturing, uh, very nurturing emotions, very loving, um, highly intuitive. Queen of Cups, we know, is very intuitive, which is why that is here in your uh, subconscious energy um, with justice. Um, intuitively, you know that things are going to come together. Um, you know that this is just love all the way this is something that's going to bring your life into total balance here um something that you'll never have to worry about um the master artist in here wow this is beautiful he's bringing things together he, he's aligning things um here and uh getting gaining the keys to his kingdom all right, whether you are male or female, this is masculine feminine energy, okay? We all operate in different energies. We all operate in different energy of the zodiac, so don't get caught up on those either. All right, but like I said, um, you you know that this person loves you. The, the masculine knows that this feminine loves them. This masculine loves this feminine. It's always on your both of you guys' mind because we have justice here with the Queen of Cups. Always on both of you guys' mind. How happy you make each other. How wonderful this situation is. How wonderful this partnership is. Um, Y'all just want to make sure that all the T's were dotted and the I's 
I mean, T's were crossed and I's were dotted before you um, took this to the next level. And I feel like maybe seven of scrolls here, maybe you guys were working on this for seven years, seven months. Um, seven is significant here because we do have um, a couple of sevens. Seven is out here. Seven of swords is your energy out here. So seven is definitely significant, but either way, um, I feel like you guys did work on this and you put this together and you know, it's one of those slow and steady wins the race type of situations. All right. We have three of swords here in the past being clarified by the nine of wands. So I feel like a lot of you were, um, blocking off love. Um, maybe your heart chakra here was blocked. Um, due to the pain, betrayal, mistrust, and uh, and all of that that may have happened to you both in the past. I feel like I'm doing a dual reading here. I feel like I'm doing a reading for you, air sign, and this partner that you're um, going into. I feel like a lot of you are wondering about this partnership or relationship because I'm not even going to say partnership no more. We got too many things out here that represent love, all right? We got the queen of cups. We got the four of cups, the three of cups, temperance, the lovers, like, <laughs> four of wands so definitely about love here um whoever you're in love with or you know and committing this could be love as far as family member goes guys you you know what i mean fit it in your story how you will but res take what resonates leave what doesn't all right if this is about a family member you know this partnership could be uh, you know a business partnership or this could be you know a, a sibling ship or you know parental adult child type thing where y'all are finally coming back together and working things out who knows but we have uh in the near future ace of pentacles being clarified by the prince of wands so um knight of wands here clarified by the ace of pentacles knight of wands is about taking action moving forward okay so moving forward in new beginnings new opportunities i see a lot of you guys are taking action on that um Prince of Wands, uh, looks like he's the Sagittarian on here is going up, up, up. Okay. Up some stairs, leveling up here in the near future. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, the arrow is pointing up. So leveling up as far as stability, um, as far as money, as far as, um, all of that goes, um, in your life. Okay. Foundations, just leveling up, uh, 100% with this person starting new beginnings, um, together because the outcome here is the four of wands. So that is the partnership actually um, coming together, a marriage, a celebration, just like three of cups, okay? Um, we have the tower here, your energy that you're contributing to this being clarified by the five of swords, which is Aquarius energy. Well, nice to see you, Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius was here already, sorry, with seven of swords. <laughs> I thought we only had Libra and Gemini out here, but we definitely had Aquarius out here from jump, okay? Aquarius is clarifying um, Gemini in the beginning, but, um, so Aquarius is here with the tower. All right. Five of swords. I feel like a lot of you guys, maybe with the five of swords and the seven of swords, clarifying your energy and the energy that, um, you see yourself in. I feel like you, a lot of you guys, um, you know, it, it may have had the energy that, you maybe self-sabotage this a little bit in the past. Um, you're starting to come to the realization that there's a lot of things that you can let up on, um, that there's a lot of that uh, you were making maybe mountains out of molehills in certain situations when it came to this, when it came to everything coming together, worried about the wrong things. Um, some of you paying a little bit too close to detail and not being able to move forward like you want to. But now coming up out of that um, and you guys knowing uh, what this is and you guys like, literally like even asking your your ancestors like manifesting here we have in crescent moon here at the bottom um leaving things that no longer serve you so that uh you know you can move forward and be happier within this partnership okay we have the akashic library all of that has been written all of that has been recorded everything that you have done to move this and move yourself and move your uh vibration to higher levels when it comes to uh this your life okay i feel like this is a life movement here uh it's all being recorded in the akashic records and i feel like a lot of you guys are um have recorded you know that you know self-sabotage but it's okay you guys gotta come up out of that we have the tower moment here so you guys are having powerful realizations about things that you should be doing things that you you know are minuscule and that you shouldn't be uh paying attention to or worried about you know things that are 
not going to matter <laughs> in the long run. We have the hangman here, like I said, being clarified by the ace of cups. So outside energy, hangman, ace of cups. So maybe um, outside energy stuck. They don't know when you're going to offer this cup of love. Like they know you're coming in or you know you want to come in. But it's just the outside energy that's just leaving you like stuck you don't know what to do but like i said we figured out here we just figured this out this outside energy is nothing but you know self-sabotage maybe thinking that things aren't going to go the way they're going to go and um you know trying to manifest but then going back and thinking oh, i don't know i don't know you know coming up out of that though the hangman here clarified by the ace of cups that's healing energy that's regenerative regenerative energy that's restorative energy that's love that's opportunities so um definitely nothing negative about that um we have the empress as the advice from spirit being clarified by the prince of pentacles so here we go i said it earlier that knight of pentacles energy knight of pentacles is virgo okay so empress energy is taurus libra so like i said you or this person could have some earth in your chart but knight of pentacles being clarified empress being clarified by the knight of pentacles so i feel like the divine since this is in the divine section or a card placement um i feel like the divine is saying to you like um you feared that this would never come at all um you were hoping for something like this for a long time you feared that it wouldn't come and you know you were maybe blocked off to it before because of the past but it's here and it's true it's almost like you guys are wondering if this is too good to be true the divine says this here is true and in 21 21 on the timer as i said that and it, it it's here it's true it, and it is stable and it is something that is going to bring you longevity, that is going to bring you generational wealth, that is going to bring you just joy for a very long time. The Knight of Pentacles, you know, he plants seeds all over the place. So that way when he becomes the king, he has a kingdom full of, um, full of harvest. Okay. Um, we have the four of wands here being clarified. Oh, yes. Like I said, y'all getting married. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. This partnership is, is like a dream come true. That's why I feel like this is in your hopes and fears section and the advice from spirit because they're saying no, like you called this in. You literally may have even manifested this okay you talked about what type of person you wanted um spirits was hearing you okay your guides were hearing you they were writing it down in that akashic record okay this is what they want this is what they want we're gonna bring this person we're gonna put them right in their path okay here at down to the very last little detail of whatever you said you wanted here okay queen of scrolls had it she's like all right we're gonna put it in here we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do that we're gonna bring it all together all right um and we got the four of wands being clarified by the ten of cups y'all ultimate happiness the end of a cycle the end of worrying whether or not you're gonna have a happy life and move on this is uh 10 the end of a cycle completion renewal this is a happiness that money can't buy okay this isn't the ten of pentacles this isn't material happiness this is emotional happiness this is love this is family this is devotion this is friendship this is you know um, wishes fulfilled that type of happiness the happiness that only you can wish for that, that your dreams are coming true so you're wondering whether your dreams are coming true spirit is telling you this is exactly what you've asked for we have the outcome here as four of wands uh, with the ten of cups lots of celebration lots of coming together lots of balance um lots of beauty okay lots of passion here with the king of with the prince of wands okay um into this uh, newness we have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck and the hermit so like i said a lot of you guys healing after just very hurtful heartbreak um i'm feeling like after all this time with you guys coming together um one or both of you here we have the hermit and the ten of pentacles so one of you has uh definitely virgo in your chart um we have the hermit here a lot of you guys may have gone within and and tried to weed out between that hurt you know gone through the dark night of the soul to get to your ten of pentacles here now that right there is material wealth so you guys have material wealth and you have wealth that money can't buy here with this person um only after going within after healing took a long time it took a while here we have the five of wands took a lot of struggles a lot of change um but you guys went through it together you went through the conflict you went through the instability together and here we are emperor here for the empress all right so divine couple the highest couple in the entire deck aside from the high priestess and the hierophant but there's more of an on a spiritual level we're talking about 3d here so the emperor and the empress finally coming together king of pentacles definitely um very very uh uh 
stable here, control over the finances, the home, all of that, everything coming together here. We have 10 of swords, the end of painful cycles, the end of you, uh, you know, being all up in your head, thinking, I feel like this relationship is a uh, very, um, communicative relationship because we do have a few swords out here. I'm feeling like this relationship is a very, um, uh, intelligent you know you guys thrive off of intellect I feel like that's how you guys bond you talk about different things uh, we have Prince of Swords here clarifying that all right you guys love to uh, pay attention to detail here <laughs> a lot of you and Virgo I can see that if, if the person has Virgo in your chart because the magician um, which we do have a lot of fours out here that talk about manifestations and tarot numerology the magician is Gemini Virgo energy Virgos are very pay attention to detail very thought-provoking love of, um, the thinking process okay um, and like to go within and think so we saw the hermit there and the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so getting step into your Virgo energy if you're your person doesn't have this in the chart we can always step into any energy all right um, we have eight of cups here at the top of the deck the devil so walking away from toxic relationships toxic thinking maybe thinking that this wasn't going to work out or this wasn't going to move on or the little toxicities that may have been planted along the way like i said you guys went hermit mode and you figured out what you want all right prince of cups here you use your intuition um to take action to progress uh, with your emotions okay you took a, a while to progress with your emotion but you're, you were using your intuition and that's why um with the Queen of Wands here, hey, okay, Queen of Wands, Aries, like I said, this person could have fire in their chart. You see this person as very beautiful, or this person sees you as very beautiful, sexy, independent, marriage material, okay? These are past energies here. Eight of Swords, like I said, past energies may have been all up in their head about it. Seven of Wands may have even tried to block it out at one point. There go those sevens, but seven years later, Seven years later, you cut that way of thinking out with the Two of Swords and y'all finally come together here. It was revealed to you. This is who you are to be. The moon is divine feminine energy, okay? This is the path that you were supposed to go down, okay? The moon is beautiful. It's revelations, okay? Revelation to the path that you were supposed to go down here. And the Hierophant, this is the path that you're supposed to go down. This is who you're supposed to marry. This is your life partner. This is their partner in whatever situation that this is. And you need to to move to a higher level of commitment with this Taurus energy like I said this person could have earth in their chart I love to see it let's get a couple of um, these uh, Kipper cards out here and see what they have to say and then I'm gonna close this out for you air sign courthouse y'all getting married cut it out but like i said i feel like a lot of you guys want something very small very uh intimate so so a lot of you may end up just going straight to the courthouse here okay we have concern that's card number 33 so we're going to see what that is about based off of the next card that comes out You know, maybe some of you may be concerned about dates, times, paperwork, that type of thing when it comes. Ah, despair. So concern about, um, and then we have not hiring behind it. This person looks like he's um, been working hard, trying to find more work, trying to get more money. Uh, oh, okay. Concern. Okay, we have house here. So I feel like you guys... Um, I'm concerned about moving. I'm concerned about blending your life, combining your life, or moving in together. Um, Y'all stress out a lot, a lot. You're up in your head a lot. We have 23, 33, and 32 here, and then 20. It's 28, 28 on the timer as I say that. So it's the male, it's the masculine energy in this relationship. I'm just going to say it now right here at the bottom of the deck. It's the masculine, feminine energy in this relationship, um, more or less all up in his head about, you know, the details that are supposed to be coming later, okay? Like I said, the numbers here don't lie. 23, 33, 32, 20. All right. It's like the numbers are flipped and then we have 20 here at the end. So you guys are, are kind of up in your head a little bit masculine, up in your head a little. Oh, and then we got the main female behind that, both of y'all with the occupation. So I feel like both of you guys are working very hard here. Um, you're trying to 33 and then we have 34 right after that with occupation card. We have one and two. So we have a lot of sequential numbers going on here with you guys. Um, 
I feel like a lot of you guys are worried about um, the house and moving in together and things like that. Like I said, a lot of you guys are in an intellectual relationship. You deal with a lot of intricacies, okay? Um, a lot of up in the head about certain things. But like I said here, four of wands indicates a household, a home. Be clarified by the 10 of cups, something money can't buy. You'll be totally happy here. Ace of pentacles, something new. Prince of wands, something that you've taken action on, okay? Something that is progress, something that you have a lot of passion for. So I feel like um, these cards are coming out here to tell you that, you know, some of you may be worried about what's gonna happen, how you're gonna buy a home and do all this and that afterward. You may be a little bit concerned about the money and you know where it's coming from with the occupations and things like that. But I feel like with both of you together with the dual um income here what this is saying occupation and then main male and main female i feel like you guys are going to be fine you're going to um end up uh meshing this together pretty well oh look at this at the top of the deck marriage do I have to say any more? Okay, community and wealthy man right behind that and courtship. So I'm feeling like right by, uh, right, maybe right before you get married during the courtship phase still, someone's gonna come through, uh, you know, within, within the community. You know, you guys may get blessings when it comes to this wedding or marriage, you know, whoever you tell, you might get a little blessing here. So no need to worry, all right? That's a little, little tidbit, a little insight into some of you guys' future. So um, if nobody has told you air signs, leave Bra Aquarius Gemini today that I love you, which I'm pretty sure you have. Y'all all up in love, all up in this feed, all right? All up in this read, I meant. Uh, but if nobody else has told you today that they love you, I'm going to tell you. I love you. Peace.